What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Pokemon Santa Cruz Skateboard Collab. Now this collab released almost three months ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through every single deck with some recent sales to see how much they're selling for. I'm gonna to try to answer the question of if these things were a good buy or not. So let's get into it. All right, so first up we have these blind bags. So this is what the skateboards came in and these retailed for about $110 like when you bought them in the skate shop now I found three pretty recent sales actually two recent sales both from the 10th which was yesterday we got one for $283 and another one for almost $400 so these things are kind of selling anywhere between $400 and this $280 $300 range so all right first Pokemon deck we have up we got Bulbasaur now these sales, this one in particular is from November 25th and it sold for $400. We got another one on November 26th that sold for $350. And then we got another one on December 1st that sold for $260. This last one actually sold for a little cheaper because if you look at the next photo, it had this giant rip in the plastic, which is unfortunate, but you know, it happens. Try and sell them if you can. Uh, next up, we got Charmander. This one sold on December 2nd for almost $300, $295. This one looks like it sold on December 7th for also $295. And then this one sold on December 8th for $250. So right around that $250, $300 range, we're looking for this deck. Which I figure like Charmander would have been a little bit more popular, but I don't know. Maybe people are just really trying to get rid of these things now that they've had them sitting around for three months. Uh, next up is Squirtle. We got this one was sold on November 14th for $299. This one was sold on November 29th for $246. And this one was sold on December 6th for $300. So yeah, right around that $300, $250 range. Pretty similar to what we saw with the Charmander and the Bulbasaur. They're all kind of in that that same price range. For some reason, those Bulbasaur prices were way higher. Maybe people just like them. Maybe they're popular. Maybe it's like the last one for their set. They're trying to complete, buy all of them. Not really sure, but we'll keep trucking along. We got Ivysaur. So this is going to be your lowest sales out of all of the decks are these three middle forms, the Ivysaur, Charmeleon, and, and Wartortle. We'll take a look at it. So this one sold on December 5th for $180. This one sold on December 10th for $250. Uh, this one also, uh, December 10th, $235. So these things are still selling. This was literally yesterday as I'm making this video. Um, that going into Charmeleon, we got one on November 30th for $200. We got one for $250 on December 4th. And this one was on December 10th for $225, again, yesterday. So these things are still selling at a pretty steady pace. Next, going into War Turtle. These ones are a little old. I couldn't find many recent sales for these. So this one sold on November 16th for $235. This one sold for $257 on November 19th. And this one sold for $250 on November 20th. I bought that one back there for, a, for an even $200 off eBay the release day. Like somebody posted it for $250 or best offer, offered him $200, and a couple days later it showed up in the mail. So I'm fine with it. It was one of the only ones that I wanted. I, I went out and bought two of them. I wanted War Turtle, didn't get them, so I just bought her. No questions, didn't even think about it, just got them, picked them up. Next, we're going to the big three. We got Venusaur coming in. This one sold on November 29th for $300. This one sold on December 3rd for $250. And this one, again, sold on December 9th for another $300. So I feel like for the middle forms, you're looking at between 200 and 250. The big three are all over the place. Venusaur is definitely the lowest. I'd say, you know, going around $300. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to get the Blastoise next. Or no, Charizard. So Charizard's <laughs> the most expensive out of all of the regular non-gold skateboards. This one sold. I think this is from November 28th for $650. And then it sold on December 5th for $850. And then this one... I'm not so sure. I think this was an auction that someone just bid on, but hey, if you were the one that got this auction for 350 bucks, they sent it on, it looks like December 8th. If you were the one that got this deck, good on you because, I mean, look at these other prices, literally days before selling for twice as much. So I don't know if you're going to list these things on eBay, I wouldn't do auctions. I would just list it for a flat rate and have someone make an offer. You'll probably get a little bit more money out of it. All right, we're getting into Blastoise now. I think you're going to see similar prices to the Venusaur, but this one sold on December 8th for $265. This one is $290 on December 9th, and this one is on December 10th for $325, so a little bit higher than the Venusaur as far as like average prices goes, but they're still pretty similar. I mean, not, not similar to the Charizard, but that's a different story all right now we're gonna get into the one that i have that i'm considering selling is pikachu so this sale is from november 26th of 309 dollars this one is 300 dollars on december 2nd and this one is 465 dollars on december 5th and also keep in mind these shipping costs on these are pretty high just because it's a weird package to try and ship so i feel like some of these um that sold for lower probably had a higher shipping cost yeah estimated shipping 60 dollars um but yeah 465 dollars so i think pikachu is right around 400 bucks you probably could get if you have it um like i do i'm considering selling it because i don't really see these things really increasing in much value but that's not what i'm here for i'm just here to analyze uh, next up, we got Magikarp. Uh, this one sale is from November 26th of $224. This one is on December 2nd for $275. And this one is December 5th for $289. Um, Magikarp was kind of one of those pulls that people got that was kind of just like, well, whatever. And I just, you know, people are going to buy these decks either to complete sets or because Magikarp is their favorite Pokemon. So if you have these and you've been holding on to them, now might be the time to sell these. Going into Snorlax. We see a little bit little bit pricier uh, decks on these next four, the Snorlax, Gengar, and the Mewtwo, and Mew, but all right, getting into Snorlax, we got this one on November 29th for $334. This one on December 1st for $333. And we got this one on December 3rd for $280. So a little bit above that $300 mark is what you're looking at for Snorlax. Gengar, this is where we start to see some fun numbers. This Gengar deck is uh, pretty popular. So this one sold for almost $500 on November 27th. This one sold for $689 on November 30th. And this one sold for $395 on december 2nd which is a really huge difference between this and this so again this could have just been a bid that someone just bid low on and this one could have been a buy it now but like that's a pretty insane price for this deck going into mewtwo we got this one selling for 399 dollars on december 3rd this one for 399 dollars on december 5th and this one for 368 dollars on December 9th. This is a Canadian $500. All right, we're going to get into this Mew, which sold on December 6th for $280. This Mew, which sold on December 7th for $399. And this one that sold for $400 on December 8th. That guy right there. <laughs> which I'm not selling. I, I'm keeping both of those. I pulled the Mew. That's going to stick around for a while. Um, all right, so, and then I thought it would be fun to look at what a full set of these decks sold for. It's all 15 of the regular artwork sold for $8,000, and this was on November 30th. 
Um, I really think that that was not the best buy. I mean, you could have just bought all of these individually for a lot less money, probably half the amount of money. But, you know, if that's what you wanted to do, go for it, dude. Pay $8,000 for that, whatever. The shipping cost is probably insane, too, trying to ship a 15 skateboards. But, hey, you know, good on the person who sold these. Making the money, you know, if the person who bought them is happy with it, go for it. Uh, we're going to start getting into the gold decks next. So, first off, we have Eevee. This one sold for $1,950 on November 8th. This one sold for $1,250 on November 19th. And this one sold for $905 on November 27th. So... These gold decks were hyped to the moon. People were selling them for thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, I didn't look at any like sales, you know, back when this first released because I already did a video on that. And I don't think I had a whole lot of market sales except for like a $15,000 Charizard. Um, Cause a lot of these were still in the bidding process, but this deck in particular has just fallen off. And I mean, that's close to the prices of the regular art decks so it's like what are you really gonna do you know like you buy one of the gold ones for 905 dollars you're gonna buy a gengar like eh, it's, it's tough to say i mean i feel like whoever got this deck got it for a steal uh next we're gonna go into the gyarados this one sold on october 18th for 300 or for three thousand one hundred dollars this one sold on November 2nd for $3,500. And this one sold on November 8th for $2,000. So Gyarados is sitting right around two to $3,000 if you can pull it. Uh, I'm sure there's still a bunch of sealed ones, a bunch of gold decks still in sealed bags. So if you really wanna take that risk of pulling a gold, go for it. But I feel like your payoff is a lot less than it was on release day. Um, next, we're going to go into the Mimikyu deck. This one sold on October 19th for $3,500. This one sold on November 19th for $1,625. And I think that's all I had. I only found two Mimikyu sales. Um, next, we're going to get into the fun stuff. The last two are the Pikachu and the Charizard deck. So this one, this Pikachu deck sold on... October 21st for $3,425. This next one sold on October 29th for $2,399. And this one sold on November 3rd for $2,176. So Pikachu, looking at similar prices to the Gyarados, uh, right around that $3,000, $2,000 range. So if you have this deck lying around, which... Yeah, if you have this deck lying around and you are like any any interested in selling these go for it like unless you're gonna keep it and that's your like your thing sell these now uh we got charizard coming up the big bad so this guy originally sold the first sale on release or close after release sold for fifteen thousand dollars now this thing on November 13th sold for $6,500. Still a shitload of money, but that's about a third of the amount of money that it sold for three months ago. We have another sale of $3,850 on November 22nd, and then another sale of $6,950 on November 23rd. Uh, that's just crazy. I mean, the the amount of money that it's selling for right now is still a crazy amount of money i mean even the even the three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollar one like that sale is still insane that's still so much money um but to see where it is now and where it was selling for is just the fall off is just crazy it's it's astronomical like if you bought this deck for fifteen thousand and are sitting here watching this video <laughs> i'm sorry but if you sold it for 15000 good on you. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> but, like, you know, people get hyped on Pokemon stuff and just write checks. And 
they could just wait three months and have it like this like all these gold decks are kind of going down all the regular decks are kind of going up and leveling off so the market's still out there for these and here my last the last sale i'm going to show you is an interesting one because it's two of the gold decks it's the pikachu and the eevee sold on november 13th for four thousand seven hundred dollars now if this person actually opened these they're incredibly lucky to have pulled two of these and to sell them for almost five grand is even better so good on them anyway that's my video for the day uh i just thought it was would be super interesting to go back and look and see what these decks are doing i mean i have two of them on display right behind me at all times so why not and uh if you like me have some of these lying around like i have the pikachu you know consider listing them this is probably one of your better times to guarantee a sale because when it comes to this kind of collection stuff like it's only worth how much you can sell it for and right now i mean clearly these decks are still selling based on the dates of these sales so right around the holidays give somebody else that chance to open up a present and see that pikachu deck which is what i'm probably going to end up doing is listing it and if i do list it by the time this video comes out i'll have a link in the description to the actual sales so if you guys want to buy it feel free um anyway uh if you enjoyed that video uh you know Feel free to give it a like, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one.